And now it's time to summon my next guest from the depths of a fiery hell. This episode of Partners Project is brought to you by Lynda.com. Want to know where your favorite YouTube stars go to learn their tricks? Lynda.com has tutorials on shooting, editing, special effects, and more. Go to Lynda.com slash Partners Project for your free seven-day trial right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Partners Project. I'm right now with director extraordinaire, Mike Diva. That was very high. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I just went into puberty. Yeah. I, you know, actually, I just hit puberty uh, a couple nights ago. How do you describe your videos? Um, well, the only way I can really describe it is. Floating with orbs. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. Yeah. Going away. Oh, there is the abyss. So basically, very trippy. Yeah, I guess you could do. You say that. have to be on something to get them. I mean, you don't have to, but it definitely helps. No, um, no, we do not support that. Do not say that. No, you have to be on high on life. Yeah, yeah, and God's love. <laughs> but you, you've done. I mean, yeah, your videos are very eclectic. Very space agey. What's that? Subscribe button. Twice. <laughs> Space Electronic. Mixed in with some old school yeah. vibes. Yeah. In 79, the Jumbo Lucci in 1992. I like the way you said that. <laughs> no, because I was thinking about the 80s commercial. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you do so many different types of videos. How do you decide what you want to produce? I actually uh, I have a dartboard with all these different words on it, like, you know, dog. And then like, dubstep. And then like, funny. And then, Randomly. Like, yeah, exactly, and then humor. And then uh, dancing. And then, you know, I just, I, I throw darts at that. And that's honestly how I made every single video I've ever done. It's a great creative process. Yeah, yeah it's very, you know, it's, it's really, it's all very scientific. And I don't want to go into detail. And don't give away your secrets. Yeah. Tell us how you got started. I know you were directing a lot of music videos. I mean, I even checked out your MySpace page. Ooh. That's like going way oh. back. Hop in the time machine. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been doing videos uh, and stuff since I was like 13. Uh, yeah. Music videos here and there and you know, stupid little skits and stuff. My main thing is like, I want to be a music video director. And that's like my main passion. But since the music video industry is kind of dead, you know, and it's really hard to find work, I got into the YouTube thing. And actually, um, it's been a lot more fun than doing music videos, to be honest. Like, there was this era in the 90s, like the mid 90s to 2000 something, where music videos were like at their peak. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like it was an art form and people would tune into MTV and actually see a music video, which is awesome. And, and now it's like, you know, since nobody wants to give budgets for music videos anymore, like you rarely see a video that kind of like blows you away. Mm -hmm. And when it does, it blows you away because it's like, hey, we were able to do this crazy stuff with this like little budget, you mm -hmm. know? And so it's it's really like a different art now. <laughs> You, believe in it. you know, with a music video, you edit it for three months, four months, and like work your ass off on it. And like with a YouTube video, I can just throw Diddy in front of a green screen. And have Diddy, him not Diddy, the rapper. Not the rapper, the dog. Although I'm sure he'd want yeah. to be in your video, so you can yeah, yeah. Diddy. The Diddy, my dog. <laughs> All right. I, I and then that brings a ton of views. Yeah, exactly. Put it's, your I, dog and Diddy in a video. Yeah, put the dog in front of a green screen, have him dance a little bit, spend four days on it, and you'll get two million views. So it's, you we know, should be doing that. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot more fun than working on a music video for three or four months. So. And what was the one video that really threw you on the scene? I mean, as far as like on the YouTube scene, yeah. like the first video that got me big was a uh, sexy sax man. We're gonna help the LA area get a little bit sexier and a little bit sexier. Ah! It was like a, a prank where um, me and my friend Sergio went out 
he, we just went to different places with the saxophone. <laughs> got kicked out, and uh, it was fun. All right, every time I see that video, I can't help but laugh. Oh, it's just like the video that makes you smile. If you're having a bad day, check out the sexy sax man, please, will you? It's actually the whole point, yeah. I mean, the really like, my favorite thing to do is make people laugh and like people like, you know, be entertained. Basically. Oh look, and I was talking about it, it's like perfect timing. Look at that. George Michael. He doesn't like George Michael! He doesn't like George Michael! Boo! How did you come up with the name Mike Diva? Um, I was just such a diva. No, um. Cause that is not your real name. <laughs> Yeah, it's Dahlquist. Um, it's um, basically my friend gave it to me because I perform on stage like by myself. <laughs> like an iPod, because mm -hmm. I, I program and sing music too. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of like, I was kind of like a diva because I was like on stage just by myself. It was kind of mm -hmm. awkward. Owning you know? it. Yeah, to, to the best of my ability when I was 16. And um, it just kind of, it stuck. You know? It was one of those things that was just like, it stuck with me. And um, to be honest, I hate it now. <laughs> no I really, I really hate the name Mike Diva. I'm not gonna lie. You hear, you heard it here first. I this is an exclusive. <laughs> this is really, yeah. I, I really hate that name. Um, and I can't, I can't change it. <laughs> it's like stuck with me. Do you me. cry yourself to sleep? I do every single night. Mm -hmm. I just like, I write Mike Diva on a piece of paper and I light it on fire <laughs> and I sob for like two hours. This is my nightly routine. <laughs> And how important is special effects to what you do? Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, it really is like, there's like at least one or two special effects shots in like everything I do just because it's entertaining to me. I don't, I don't know, like I think that uh, if, if I could find an excuse to like light my face on fire and have lasers shoot out of my eyes in a video, then I'd much rather do that than just have a video of me like chilling, you know? I don't really feel any. What would you do if you weren't doing all this? Like, do you have any other jobs? I'd be on the jobs? streets, probably uh, doing heroin and you know, crack and whatnot. Oh, crack! You know, starving. Uh, but on the side, I would be a prostitute, so it's cool. I'll be making money somehow. Tell us your favorite videos that you've done, the ones that stand out for you on your channel. My favorite video is uh, the robot video mm -hmm. so far. Yeah. Say no hard feelings when you're talking to a robot. I was able to go out in the public and be a dick in a robot costume. Yeah, she's an android, got it on a Polaroid. It's funny, like when you're in a robot costume, like you can be as much of a dick as you want, and like everybody's just like, ah, oh, it's a robot! Hey! And like you'd be like pushing stuff over and people will still be like, ah, it's cool, it's just a robot. So, you know, that was fun. Um, you do that more when you're at parties of girls. Yeah, I know, right? I actually, uh, you know, show up to the parties in, in that costume all the time. You girls, like they slap their it. butt and be like, yeah. it's a robot! It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> you know? It's just robot rape, it's cool. <laughs> This, this okay. conversation is going no, on the deep end, people. <laughs> um, how do you go from being a music video director to where you are now doing YouTube pretty much full time? Uh, the music video industry is pretty much dead. I mean, I, I pretty much had to go to YouTube because it's a, it's a good stream of steady money, but at the same time, it's also a great like way to you know have ideas and just it's a good it's a good creative outlet. Right now, I have like what I feel like is like my perfect job. Like I'm able to make something fun every other week and entertain people and make people laugh and at the same time like live off of it so it's, it's really cool it's and show like, off your work what you can do so other people do want to exactly work with and you. it's a really like you know for people out there that want to you know do films and stuff like that like YouTube is a really good way not only for other people to see your stuff but to get noticed by bigger you know people that you know might not have seen your stuff before like like for instance like Cartoon Network and MTV and stuff like that have hit me up to do like shows and stuff it's a good foot in the door really like it's really good for people to notice like stuff that you do. What are your inspirations? Um, sex and drugs. <laughs> um, lots of sex. <laughs> lots of drugs, okay? Besides that. All right. Uh, um, no, um, I'd say like the most inspiring thing I've ever seen yeah. was Michelle Gondry's director's label DVD. I don't know if you know Michelle yeah, Gondry. Yeah, totally. Michelle Gondry is like my main inspiration for like everything I do. Like he just, like when I saw like all his body of work, like I was bl so blown away that I decided like from that point on to be a music video director. <laughs> Where do you see YouTube heading and all you creators who really 
Um, builds a career out of this. I mean, hopefully YouTube keeps going the way it's going, and you know, since they're investing a lot of mo like a lot of money into YouTube content now mm -hmm. and stuff, like hopefully it turns into more of a medium that's taken more serious. Because right now, you know, people like don't you know if you say like, hey, I do YouTube videos for a living, people are like, okay, cool, yeah, you keep doing videos of you know dogs and babies and. and I stuff know. Like I'm that. surprised like, that people just generalize it like yeah. that because there's so much else that's going right. on in there. And so like hopefully as it progresses, it'll be no be more of a respected thing and so hopefully in the next like five ten years people will really start appreciating YouTube as we'll be series. really old god we'll be having kids on YouTube yeah, I'll probably be dead to be honest the way no. I, I live my life I don't sleep that much so I plan on being dead in five ten years but hopefully <laughs> I have done a couple movies before that I'm doing good. glass half full please yeah okay so I'll be fine I'll be good What's that one question fans can't stop asking you the thing I get a lot is more sexy sex man ah and uh, my response is, he's coming. There will be a sexy uh -oh. sax man too, eventually. <gasps> well, Mike, you rock. Thank you so much for joining so us today you. and Thank telling you so your story. Much. Appreciate it. Handshake that. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Thank you, Doggy, for joining us too. Diddy. Partners Project. Yes. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Come back next week. Bye. Thank you so much to our sponsor, lynda.com. Go to this link, lynda.com slash partners project to support everything we do here at the Partners Project and also for a free seven day trial right now to use the site to learn how to be an awesome YouTuber, shooting, editing, special effects, and more, all those lessons, lynda.com slash partners project. And of course, subscribe to the awesome Mike Diva right here. Subscribe to us right here. And stay tuned next week. We are talking to Corridor Digital. Ask all your questions for them in the comments below. Have a great weekend. Bye.